Weird fiction is a subgenre of speculative fiction originating in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. John Clute defines weird fiction as a term used loosely to describe fantasy, supernatural fiction and horror tales embodying transgressive material." China Mieville defines weird fiction thus, "...weird fiction is usually, roughly, conceived of as a rather breathless and generically slippery macabre fiction, a dark fantastic horror, plus fantasy." often featuring non-traditional alien monsters thus plus science fiction quote closing parenthesis dot quote discussing the old weird fiction published in the late 19th and early 20th centuries Jeffrey Andrew Weinstock says old weird fiction utilizes elements of horror science fiction and fantasy to showcase the impotence and insignificance of human beings within a much larger universe populated by often malign powers and forces that greatly exceed the human capacities to understand or control them weird fiction either eschews or radically reinterprets ghosts vampires werewolves and other traditional antagonists of supernatural horror fiction weird fiction is sometimes symbolized by the tentacle a limb type absent from most of the monsters of european folklore and gothic fiction but often attached to the monstrous creatures created by weird fiction writers such as william hope hodgson m r james and h p lovecraft Weird fiction often attempts to inspire awe as well as fear in response to its fictional creations, causing commentators like Mieville to say that weird fiction evokes a sense of the numinous. Although, weird fiction has been chiefly used as a historical description for works through the 1930s, the term has also been increasingly used since the 1980s, sometimes to describe slipstream fiction that blends horror, fantasy, and science fiction. History Although the term, weird fiction, did not appear until the 20th century. Edgar Allan Poe is often regarded as the pioneering author of weird fiction. Poe was identified by Lovecraft as the first author of a distinct type of supernatural fiction different from traditional Gothic literature, and later commentators on the term have also suggested Poe was the first weird fiction writer. Sheridan Le Fanu is also seen as an early writer working in the sub genre. Literary critics in the 19th century would sometimes use the term weird to describe supernatural fiction. For instance, the Scottish Review in an 1859 article praised Poe, E.T.A. Hoffman and Walter Scott by saying the three writers had the power of weird imagination. The Irish magazine The Freeman's Journal, in an 1898 review of Dracula by Bram Stoker, described the novel as wild and weird", and not gothic. Weinstock has suggested there was a period of "...old weird fiction", that lasted from the late 19th to early 20th centuries. S. T. Joshi and Mieville have both argued that there was a period of "...oat weird", between 1880 and 1940, when authors important to weird fiction, such as Arthur Mackin and Clark Ashton Smith were publishing their work. In the late 19th century, there were a number of British writers associated with the decadent movement who wrote what was later described as weird fiction. These writers included Mackin, M. P. Scheel, Count Eric Stenbach, and R. Murray Gilchrist. Other pioneering British weird fiction writers included Algernon Blackwood, William Hope Hodgson, Lord Dunsany, Arthur Mackin, and M. R. James. The American pulp magazine Weird Tales published many such stories in the United States from March 1923 to September 1954. The magazine's editor Farnsworth Wright often used the term, "...weird fiction," to describe the type of material that the magazine published. The writers who wrote for the magazine Weird Tales are thus closely identified with the weird fiction subgenre, especially H. P. Lovecraft, Clark Ashton Smith, Fritz Leiber and Robert Bloch. 
Other pulp magazines that published weird fiction included Strange Tales, edited by Harry Bates, and Unknown Worlds, edited by John W. Campbell. H. P. Lovecraft popularized the term weird fiction in his essays. In Supernatural Horror in Literature, Lovecraft gives his definition of weird fiction. The true weird tale has something more than secret murder, bloody bones, or a sheeted form clanking chains according to rule. A certain atmosphere of breathless and unexplainable dread of outer, unknown forces must be present, and there must be a hint, expressed with a seriousness and portentousness becoming its subject, of that most terrible conception of the human brain a malign and particular suspension or defeat of those fixed laws of nature which are our only safeguard against the assaults of chaos and the demons of unplumbed space. S. T. Joshi describes several subdivisions of the weird tale, supernatural horror or fantastique, the ghost story, quasi-science fiction, fantasy, and ambiguous horror fiction and argues that the weird tale is primarily the result of the philosophical and aesthetic predispositions of the authors associated with this type of fiction, although Lovecraft was one of the few early 20th century writers to describe his work as weird fiction. The term has enjoyed a contemporary revival in new weird fiction. For example, China Mieville often refers to his work as weird fiction. Many horror writers have also situated themselves within the weird tradition, including Clive Barker, who describes his fiction as fantastique, and Ramsey Campbell, whose early work was deeply influenced by Lovecraft. Notable authors The following notable authors have been described as writers of weird fiction. They are listed alphabetically by last name. Topic: Before 1940. Topic: 1940 to 1980. Topic: 1980 present. Topic: The New Weird. It has been suggested by some, predominantly Anne and Jeff Vandermeer and China Mieville, that weird fiction has seen a recent resurgence, a phenomenon they term the New Weird. Tales which fit this category, as well as extensive discussion of the phenomenon, appear in the anthology The New Weird. See also Cosmic horror Cthulhu mythos Dark fantasy List of genres Lovecraftian horror Occult detective Surrealism Urban fantasy Notes <laughs>